Hello all, myself Helen Ajoy, a lecturer from SNS College of Allied Health Science in the Department of Radiography and Imaging Technology. I am going to discuss a topic about orthography. Orthography is a radiographic imaging procedure in which a radio opaque contrast media is injected into the joint's cavities to study the joint abnormalities and associate soft tissues. The orthography is the most common test performed to evaluate the abnormalities of synovial joint such as shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip joint, knee joint and tempomandibular joint. The orthography can be either direct or indirect. Indirect orthography. In indirect orthography, the contrast media is injected into the bloodstream. Then, the contrast media moves with the flow of the blood. The images are taken after a specific period of time. For example, CT scan orthography. Direct orthography. In direct orthography, the contrast media is injected directly into the joint's cavity and images are taken immediately after administration of contrast media. This is how the images are taken. Indication. Joint pain, inflammation, tear of the joint capsule, rupture of ligaments, dislocation of joints. Contraindication, allergy to iodine, suspected pregnancy, patients have asthma and diabetes, recent joint fracture. Patient preparation, the patient is asked to take low residue diet for two days prior the examination and drink clear liquids the day before the examination. Fasting may be employed for 6 to 8 hours. Ask the patient not to eat or drink after midnight. Women should inform about any possibility of pregnancy. Pregnant women should not have a radiologic examination because of high risk of radiation exposure to the unborn baby. The patient is instructed to remove all the metallic objects and metallic jewellery from the body. The insertion site must be shaved before the examination. Equipment Fluoroscopy with spot film device, orthography tray which include gauze, sponge, syringe 50cc, 20cc, 10cc, local anesthesia, antiseptic solution, spinal needle 18 gauge, contrast media, non-ionic water soluble, and a negative contrast media, carbon dioxide or room air 80 to 200 cc. Procedure on the day of the examination, the technologist should describe the whole procedure to the patient and obtain written consent from the patient for the permission of procedure. The patient is asked to remove clothing and wear a hospital gown. The patient is placed in supine position with an empty bladder on the fluoroscopic table. An intravenous line is inserted into the patient's arm. If necessary, sedative drugs is given through the line to make the patient relax. A plain x-ray of the specific joint should be taken before the examination. The insertion site of the patient must be cleaned with the antiseptic solution under the strict sterile protocol and wrapped with a sterile towel. Afterward, local anesthesia is given at the, site, at the insertion site. After numbing the area, the radiologist then insert the spinal needle into the joint cavity under the fluoroscopy guidance. After the insertion, the radiologist aspirates 5 to 10 cc fluid from the joint for laboratory analysis and then injects 5 to 10 cc contrast media into the joint under fluoroscopy guidance. The spot films should be taken during and after the contrast media. In several cases, dual contrast media may be injected to evaluate the soft tissue structures. For this, 80 to 20 cc carbon dioxide, I mean the negative contrast media, is injected after administration of positive contrast media. This process gives a thin coating of positive contrast media over the soft tissue structures. In some cases, additional medi medicine such as steroids, anti-inflammatory may be injected along with the contrast to relieve the pain and swelling. After completion of the examination, the spinal needle is removed and then the pressure is applied on the insertion site. Subsequently, the radiologist again evaluates the joint movement under fluoroscopy. This is how a wrist joint orthography looks like. This is how the shoulder joint orthography images are like. 
this is how the hip joint orthography images looks and this is elbow joint orthography images after care the patient should be kept under observation vital sign must be monitored if the vitals are normal then the patient is allowed to leave the examination room that's all thank you